Another year has passed and we're gonna give you the 2023 countdown. The best, the worst, the wettest. Stay to the end. You're gonna see what we feel is the best. Laurel made me do a list of her favorite, my favorite, so she doesn't know what I thought of what went on through the year. And it's just to show you people how it is different perspective from a woman's point of view and a guy's point of view. And that's the advantage also about having an inspection with a team because a duo will see differently the aspects of reality, of things that you pay attention to, that we don't pay attention to, or vice versa. So that will prove exactly our point. So that's why I appreciated doing this and I want you to understand also, this is how your partner will see it. Different approach. Okay, so let's tell them, what did you think was your worst? So go ahead. Though. No, you take your paper at the same time. Oh. Okay, so this was my worst. Lift your paper, you cheating. Winnebago, Forza. 2018. Okay, so Michelle. I said 2002 Prowler 303 BH. Why did you okay. think that the Forza was the worst of so, 2023? Travel trailer. Little Class A. This was moldy. If you remember, the bathroom wall was gone over and out. There was nothing left. The only thing you can see is my finger crackling through the mold in the back of the wall. So for me, Look, you can see this bubble in here. You can see, see these. This is all mold, the lamination, all those pricks, everything here. All right. So now, so unless you want a hobby, this wall has water intrusion and it's been rotten it's probably full of mildew right now so for me that was the worst that's how i see it okay so what, the reason what why the what was the worst in the prowler so the reason why i felt that the prowler was the worst because i was dealing with cockroaches it was infested with cockroaches and i knew that this was a young couple our kids ages that were moving in there with their little girls like our grandchildren and i just couldn't even imagine them as newbies moving into this full time with cockroaches okay we're finding bugs um that looks like a baby cockroach and a mama cockroach you're kidding me and if I remember well on that one, for me, it wasn't even about the cockroaches. It was everything outside and the misalignment. There was a lot of thing also, but cool. Well, see, that's a different approach. So let's talk about the most dangerous. All right, what do you have for the most dangerous? The most dangerous. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just remember that I saw it in the back of my paper. Okay, so I said the 2006 Allegro bus 40 QDP that we did in New Jersey. East to West. Tandera, 285 FL. Okay, so why did you feel that that was the most? This was the one, if you remember, about the shackles, the suspension, being almost gone, where Clay was happily surprised that we found this, so he didn't put him and Maria in a dangerous place. So that's why, for me, that was my classification of most dangerous. That was me. And they were about to head out on a long trip from Pennsylvania to Maine. Yep. And Which uh, actually, I don't think they, they even had did. to. No, they yeah. didn't. They actually ended up not going. So, and he felt like okay. possibly saved. So that for me was the worst because it's mechanical. What? This is what happened. I've got a shackle, I've got a leaf spring suspension. You know, at the end, you got those yokes where the blade comes up. So in this little yoke, there's a bolt, but the bolt is not in the middle, it's down here. So that becomes a problem right away. I said, okay, we might have a bigger issue than we think, and you probably need to change those bolts because that CRE 3000 should have wet bolts, should have right. a bolt with a greasing point, which his didn't come with it. And that's a research that he did last week that we talked about, 
and now I even emphasize about this, and now I'm going to look into this even more, but dealers do whatever they want, and that's the purpose of this. They do whatever they want. So if they skip you on parts, you'll never know. And for you, okay. it's what? For me, the reason why I chose this 2006 Allegro bus was it was smelled like mold. It ended up being very moldy. It was very wet. A lot of stuff was rotten. And to me, that's really dangerous because it affects your health. So we've been and in here. I've been in here the longest. And yes, it is not easy to breathe in here. I don't have lung issues. But the more I work around stuff like this, I might. So we bought a home test for mold it is for home use and we actually used it today and let's just show you what our readings are showing us so as you can see you can see the lines there that is detecting mold so yes we can go further we can have a lab test these results this is a good indication of what we have found so far in this oh. RV so and if you'll remember a while later Pierre ended up getting sick and he was sick for six to eight weeks we had done quite a few moldy ones right in a row yeah three or four of them right back to back we had done a 2018 Thor Ace 30.3 and this thing was full of mold and remember it had it was the one in New Jersey yeah. it was completely yeah. dilapidated and it was not portrayed that way to the customer so there was one moldy one that we had gone into then it was Newtown Connecticut um, oh that Jayco Paul, Seneca Paul and Colleen Paul and Colleen that 37 K 37 K 2020 and if you remember there was mold underneath the bed in the front yes there was more structural damage but that was another moldy one so in that sequence of four that was the second one so why is this mattress down and in our way? I was up in the loft over the cab and well, this is what I saw underneath there. So if you can see the buckling of the fake press wood, the discoloration, I have some discoloration here too. I don't know guys in the comments below, if you saw this in your RV, what would you think that it was because I'm not supposed to tell, but I can tell you that my throat is a little tickly and my nose is a little tickly and the air is just kind of strange in here. I don't know. I'm just saying this is how I'm feeling and I have no lung issues, but this is a day where I told Pierre, I really have a hard time breathing in here. It's kind of a strange feeling. Then we did a uh, 2016 Thor Ace 30.2 we had done that one in Columbia, South Carolina before we even got to New Jersey. And that was full of mold. And the sad thing about that, this family was also going to be moving into it, living quite a bit because they had a child that was in the hospital and they needed to be close by. So they were putting their entire family and kids. When I bent down on the floor in the bedroom, remember my knee almost went through uh, the floor? I haven't so, looked at the front yet because I saw, oh, there's a screw missing. But now you see, so that's mold, just telling you. This floor is totally gone. So see, I didn't do nothing. My wife did all the work. So I think we're good. I think if I go everywhere, I, I know it's going to be like that all the way. People, that's my point. This thing is your floor. So if you don't put and maintain this, this is what's going to happen to you. And when you try to shop and find a used one, these are the first place you look at. You didn't hear that from me. But now let's just go confirm with Laurel what we have inside. So Pierre said, get in that back bedroom and see what's going on. So follow me. Let's go check and see what's going on in here. Well, first of all, I can see water down here. You see this right here? Oh, wow. No, my knee is sinking. That's soft. Wow. Holy, holy moly. You see, look at this. Can you see that moving? Through the floor. Oh, so yeah. that, was, that was full of mold. And the last one was my first one. It was the Forza with those molds in the wall. That's how it started. And that's when our spree started going up north. And at the end, you know, I know I got sick finally 
kind of find a way to get rid of it when we finally came back to Louisiana. So long circle of life, there we go again. So the next category is our favorite floor plan of what we inspected this year. Of what we inspected. Of what we inspected. That doesn't mean that it's our choice. Right. It's only of the units that we inspected. Okay. You you trying to cheat again, trying yep. to see oh, what I, I wrote. See on the back marker. Okay. So I said the 2023 Alliance Paradigm 395DS double sweep. And for me it was the Discovery LXE 44S we did at the NIRBC in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes, I remember that Alliance too. That was kind of special because there was two room one at each end wait am it, i talking about mine and you're huge. talking about yours i'm talking about all our inspections he's tr see he liked but it see, too again, see how it's different i don't know we went through the fifth wheel i'm past the fifth wheel now i like our floor plan when we get into the class a's because we live in a class a as you know so that's where for me it became my first reaction was that 44s because i thought that was cool there's just a couple of things i'd like to change in this unit we have we have a 40e Discovery LXC, if you didn't know what we had. So that's what we have. Laurel is still on the layout of fifth wheels. She loves well, fifth wheels. I love them both, but honestly, I really do love fifth wheels. But what I loved about this Alliance Paradigm was the double suite. And I just kept thinking, wow, for a family, and they were moving into this, that just really gives a lot of extra space. Or if you're bringing people along with you, they've got their own suite, their own bathroom. Plus, there was a loft. It just was a lot of extra space, and I loved it. Here's the secret for me in the RV lifestyle. The less room opportunity you have, the less bed opportunity you have, the less people are going to be able to come and spend time with you. So basically, you make your mattress really uncomfortable in the double suite. So they don't show up, they don't come <laughs> They to don't visit. stay as long. Exactly. Okay, so the next category is the most shocking that we actually inspected in 2023. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, okay. so yeah. for me, I said it was the 2023 Newmar Superstar 4059 that we did in Louisiana. And you, what did you say? I said the 2014 Dutch Star. Okay. Same brand, same manufacturer, sorry, a 4018 that we did in Yuma, Arizona. Okay, so why was that the most shocking? Because it was presented as a beautiful, pristine, pristine. unit. And the minute we got there the first night, I said, are you kidding me? This, we had a couple of issues mechanically. All right, so I'm going to take my phone light. But just to give you an idea, this is called a main bearing. You see the leak in here. Uh, from underneath, I went there. And that's what we call a main bearing leaking. The other thing that I inspect that I found is also this belt. So this is the fan belt, no big deal. But you can see that it's all shaved, it's all gone. So that's about going to explode. So you're not going to go far with this, you better have a spare one. The advantage of those rear engines is exactly this, is that you can actually fix it yourself if you're handy. Because this one is an easy one. The other mechanical thing that I have that I found on this, because that was my afternoon crawling underneath this, is the power steering pump. So power steering pump on this 2014 actually leaks. Your arms that are powering your steering is actually, this pump is in the middle of your coach. And this pump attaches those two tie rod ends that goes to your wheel and makes you turn. When this starts leaking, a couple of drips on the driveway or whatever, the problem that you have with this is this pin, when it starts leaking, is because the shaft is starting to move. That's why those seals break and they start leaking. When it starts to move, you're going to lose hydraulic fluid. You're going to lose a lot of hydraulic fluid. You're going to stain your floor, and who knows? It might become a play in the driving of your unit, so that's going to be affecting your driving capacity. So that was, yeah, for me, that's why it stuck there. Yes, Jeff and Karen, I know they've been working on it. We'll do a video about them, actually, because I'm going to meet up with Jeff. And we, we've been talking together. He's been following his budget. If you remember, there was a budget that he was following, so he was able to offer this price. So far, we're in November, beginning of December. He's still on the budget. There's one place for him to go. So he's going to be way below what he was hoping and expecting. So good surprise. So that was good. But that was deceiving. That was... 
that but kind what of... they saved in the negotiations and what they're doing now, they're getting like a brand new RV now. Yeah, exactly. But, which but is that's, amazing. But that's my point is when people present to you a beautiful unit, again, that's why you need an inspection. Prove me wrong. So the reason so, why I chose mine, we got there, it was phenomenal and it is an amazing floor plan and it was like perfect as we were going through until we took the slides in and out and as we were doing that we realized there was a massive gap not just a little gap but a gap so that I could actually stick my hand through the top of the slide in the bedroom trust me when I tell you Corey Laura, you know you're going to Napanee with this. You ain't going to a local dealer. Three slide out, out of whack. I, I'm disappointed of Numar. I can show you something electrical also, but that's me, that's personal. It's just because I'm anal. But this slide out big time up there in this corner. As we can see, we have a big major problem in terms of closing, being tight. Let's take a stroll to the top of this slide out where we already found that this was sagging. This is the top of the roof. And here's my seal. So I gotta wipe a seal here. Yeah, I can actually see wood in there. Oh, I can actually see fingers. So we're inside in the bedroom right now. This slide out is totally out, open. And this is what we have all over. Numar is special sometimes. Uh, but that's really disappointing. That's how I feel. And uh, go back in, and that seal that she's touching, that's the inside seal. Stick your finger out again, just to see we're not pushing this. It's not nothing special. That's how it is. Welcome to our world. And that was quite shocking. And the owner was shocked also. But to me, that was one of the most shocking RV inspections that we've done. And would have never seen that coming. Especially from a product like Numar, which is consistent normally, and those are built by human. There's no robot, you cannot accuse anybody. The people that are in QC there in that section, if they're not there that day, if mentally they're, they're flying somewhere, this is why you have an inspection. Yes, I will repeat it again and again, because it's called repetition equals reality. So the more you're gonna understand that this is the industry we're in, and it's to save your butt what we do. This is the reason why we do what we do. And that's what we're trying to show just with a couple of examples. So at the end of the day, that will be what, four, five, six, four, five, six, there'll be about 12 of them this year. That just gives you an idea of what we do constantly. And if you watch our video, you understand what we do, so. So now he knows why I did six, because this is the 12 days of Christmas. See, it goes along with the song, The Twelve Days of Christmas. So we're and coming- a partridge in a pear tree. Wow, he can have a backup career singing. I'm gonna stick to inspection. <laughs> okay, so we're coming down to our last two categories. So what was, in your opinion, and we've had several of them, yeah. the wettest inspection yeah. that we've done? Okay. All right. See, uh, yeah. again, See? we would yeah. be good at uh, that game, married wedding game, because, see, totally different. Again, I'm going to say it. That's my point about doing this exercise. Two different opinions. Right there. You should have your clue right there. Male, female, uh, two people, even two guys or two girls together will have a different approach. Totally. For me, it was those nitro. If you haven't seen one of those, go check our video. We did two in one day, and we did another one the next day. Three, actually, of those. In Flooded. A, water was coming in. Go see the trim. You're going to understand. And this customer, Raymond, was happy like a pig and shit. Uh, to have avoided him to go in, the, in this pitfall. Pitfall, pig, you know, swamp. That would have been it. This was bad, so please give yourself a favor. Go check them out. And I didn't make this up, so it ha it's nothing against a manufacturer. It's units that they put out there sometime that, oop, you might end up with that one. So if you didn't have that opportunity of having somebody having your back, somebody's gonna end up with one of those three. So long story short, Ray was appreciative, and he finally ended up with another unit. 
that we never got the chance to inspect because we couldn't be there over and over. So it became his own thing doing. And I know he still had problem, but I will mention them. He ended up with an alliance and actually alliance backed him up on a couple of things that he found after our experience talking together. So he had a couple of issues that he was able to fix and alliance was backing him up. Yep. So good job guys. And he is happy. Happy camper. So the reason why I chose the Montana, if you'll remember, once we got inspecting on the inside and we opened up the pantry, we could see that there was wetness on the wood inside of the pantry. And the more we checked, the floors were wet and the cabinets all the way to the refrigerator were wet. As Lola is taking her pictures, touching her stuff, so I just happened to catch it quicker than her. As I came in here, whoa, okay, I see even more as we're talking. So just look at how bold this is. This is already started. You see that water down there? So this is water that goes all the way to the fridge. Even at the fridge, look at this puddle. So it's been there for a while. It's nothing new. And we don't know of rain yet. Even the carpet, the edge of the carpet right here, you can see it, it's soaked because we just opened it. How did the water get in here? I don't know, but let's just take a look. So as I opened this door, which was my guide, I see water everywhere here. You can see the water. And now I'm looking at my walls. Oh no, my walls have been sucking water. Was it a Montana issue? No. 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 Somebody had left a window open in the back. But how long had that wetness been coming in yeah. and it how destroyed. soon does it yeah. turn into mold yeah. and destroy everything? So that wood was destroyed. So very unfortunate for whoever has now purchased that unit and didn't notice the stain of water that was inside all of those cabinets. Maybe you own it. Let us know in the comment below if you own that Montana 331. I hope not. But <laughs> we'll go look in your cupboards before you put stuff in there. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know in the comments below. Would these have been some of your favorites that we're telling you about? Do you remember these videos? Because in the description below, I'm going to link every video we've talked about today. Go back and watch them and you will be as shocked as we were while we were in there inspecting them. So the countdown is here. So the last category is the best one what's the my opinion? best what's my opinion what's her opinion this should be interesting i can't wait to see I, I'd, li <laughs> I'd like to be able to <laughs> in ask. the comment below yeah exactly yeah. I, I like i'd like you to be able to tell me if you followed us which one was the best in your opinion this is a little trial that you got to see to see the difference between you me her so it's always relative to what we think is bad or what we think is best. Because be best could be you saved somebody from buying the worst RV, that could be best. Yep. Or it's your favorite floor plan, or you, you didn't like find the, much. You like the shiny on the tire because it looked beautiful. You like the color scheme, whatever float your boat. Okay. We don't know. So I wanna know what was your opinion of the best? Stop trying to look at my, stop, he's cheating. We could so never be on the mine, honeymooner game. No, nope, never. Unless we use black marker, so it's written in the back. And That's he's trying to read it. it. So I said Grand Design Solitude, the ST391 DLR. And you said the Dutch Star? 4369. Okay. We did oh, we longer. just barely did that one. That was beautiful. That was the nicest, flawless Numar ever in my book of any inspection of even driving in campground because it becomes an obsession we look at all of them even when we're bicycling i look at your trims on your roof i look at your slide out that are offset this was yes. the nicest one that i've ever seen that i've ever inspected to the point where i doubted my capacity so that's yeah how you really thought yeah. i think i'm off my game today yeah i think what you found a dust particle or something like that no that was i a, found a spider on the door in the bathroom a spider crack I remember that. yeah that was it a wasn't thing. a spider because if it was a spider i wouldn't have been there crack. but it was a yeah. spider crack and the holy tree. grail i think that's it if it was mine i'd buy it just because it's everything is close to perfection everybody was on the same momentum that day everybody was working checking everybody it's I, I can see it at a couple of different places it's been corrected everything is is phenomenal except for one thing that i caught on the door here there's a spider crack right in the door so if you can see that 
and the two awnings working together, I couldn't make them work individually. That's right. Those were my two biggest pet peeve of that unit. That's it. There might have been dust on one of the tire, but I, I didn't put that in the report. I guess the reason why I said the Grand Design Solitude, I remember that day we felt that it was solid. It was a solid tude. And yes, we did find some things, but up until that point, we really hadn't found a lot of issues. Was that the rear kitchen? That was not. It's lunchtime, and I've got to tell you, I'm wicked excited. I can't believe the amount of things I've not found. This is solid. I'm really happy. Can't wait to see what the end of the day brings. So okay, so I want, I want I want you to see exactly what I why, said earlier. Why I am the way I am, because I like that double suite layout. Exactly. So in that see bathroom. the room. She wants to have people visiting us. No, I don't want to have I people. Don't. No, I no, 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 I want grandchildren, all of them, any of them, any time. So seriously, <laughs> in ours, we have a king size bed that we put right here in the living room and we can sleep about five grandkids on there. That is perfect. The adults, they can find a motel room. Or a tent. Or a tent, like we did not too long ago. That was perfect. Or a tent. Hopefully you enjoyed this little random uh, items out of the year. We already know we have a couple of inspections coming before the end of the year, but I don't see it being too dramatic, and if they are, well, they'll be in the next and future video. So they didn't make our list because they weren't on our list. We want to take this time to thank all of you. Thank you for subscribing to our channel, following our channel, giving us thumbs up and comments. The comments you all leave for us, yeah, that is it's cool. amazing, really. It's uh, it's humbling to know how much you enjoy our content and what we're bringing to you which is the truth i will out of request from a couple of people i will tone it down i will not stop bringing what i have to bring for facts i'll try not to point finger as bad or as be as honest as when we can talk around a campfire so i'll leave it at that so i'll try to be a little bit more concise on what i'm supposed to talk about Here's the result, and you tend to whatever you saw and make a judgment on your own. Uh, there's words I'm not supposed to use, like numb nut or moron, so I'm not supposed to use those. So I'll try to, I'll try to tone that down. So on camera, can you say, my New Year's resolution is to tone it down and not say these words? There we go. I just said it. No, you have to say my New Year's resolution is. My New Year resolution is. I'll try to tone it down and not use the word that would hurt people's feeling. I gotta make good. I gotta make a parenthesis. I'm not promising which year that's gonna be. <laughs> happy holidays. And happy new year. We wish you the best of health and wealth for 2024. Thanks for watching our channel. Thank you for following. So remember and, and do, do never, never forget. forget it's not about the destination. It's all about the journey. Your journey. Another year has passed, and we're going to give you the countdown of 2000. The countdown? Okay, that was a blooper. Blooper cut. All right, so let's get started with the worst. So. All right, so Laurel asked me to do a pile, and we had what? Five categories? A pile? A pile of whatever they are, the wettest, the the, just said that. the dumbest, yeah, all of those. He's That's all bloopers, Laurel. Cut that out. <laughs> so the next category is the most shocking that we inspected in 2023. Somebody's calling. Okay, we're on to the most shocking. So smile. You know that fake smile? My, my New Year resolution is I will not, I'll try to tone it down and not use the word that would hurt people's feeling. I gotta make, good. I gotta make a parenthesis. I'm not promising which year that's gonna be. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of our Blue Ox RV inspection community. We appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to share with your RV and friends so they can be a part of the Blue Ox community as well. Happy New Year.